I am probably the only speaker today who does not have a prepared speech. I looked at the list of speakers today and I felt a little bit like Noah giving a speech. I felt like someone talking about water and out in the audience was Noah. So frankly, I'd like to take a personal view on Durban, Durban 1 and Durban 2. During the last three months, myself and Dan Dyker, on behalf of the World Jewish Congress, have visited 22 countries. We heard the same message from every country, the same message. There is no question, they said, that there should not be a UN resolution about a state without negotiations. But, said every country, because of what our people think, because of what they've seen and what they've heard about anti-Israeli rhetoric, we have no choice because we're forced by the people. They realize that the Arab states could not defeat Israel militarily, nor could they defeat them economically. It was only through public opinion. It was only through breeding hate. They said over and over again, we know why Israel and Palestinians cannot negotiate. It's because of what Durban did and what all the hate coming out there. Why can't you explain to the world the truth? I said, we're the World Jewish Congress. People will not believe us. I said to them, each one of them, why can't you tell them the truth? They said, people don't want to hear the truth. And it's true. People only want to hear what's bad, not what's great about Israel. They only want to hear about what's happening. Also during this period of time, I had a chance to visit various Palestinian towns and cities. And what I heard from the people, the people want peace. The people want to negotiate. But they say their leaders don't. And the real question is, what can we do? And a great deal is we can do a lot, not in conferences, but in strong attacks on what they're saying. The future right now is not a great one, but I believe with forms like this, not only speaking out, but speaking out to the people. Too often our words are not heard by the people. We have not done an excellent job of getting our message out. And that is the future. Today, you'll hear some great arguments and great feelings. And again, I commend the people here for standing up. But it's only after we get into the street, the Arab street, the European street, the Latin American street, the Asian street, that the truth will be known. And I thank to our college, Hudson Institute, and thank you for inviting us. And on behalf of the World Jewish Congress, we're doing everything we can. But again, we're fighting a huge amount of publicity, <coughs> negative publicity against Israel and against all the things we stand for. But I believe that with enough effort, and enough PR, that we can in fact bring the truth out. Thank you very much.